This is week eight notes, solving two-step equations. I hope you're excited. The process for solving a two-step equation is number one, add or subtract the constant term on the same side as the variable to both sides, multiply the denominator or divide the coefficient on both sides, then write your answer and circle it. So let me do an example so that these steps make a little bit of sense to you. Take a moment to write them down. Pause the video if you need to. Negative nine minus V equals nine. So step one, add or subtract a constant term on the same side as the variable. What is that? That's the negative nine right here. So we're gonna add or subtract it depending on what the sign is. It's negative, so that means we'll do the opposite. We're going to add it. We're going to add it, positive nine, to both sides. So that means we're going to have a zero here and just a negative V now on the left side. Equal to 18 now on the right side. Now don't forget, there's actually a one right here. There's a one right here. So we need to get rid of that negative one in the front of the V. So we'll divide it out or multiply it on both sides. And then we are left with V equals negative 18. Remember, this step before right here said negative V equals 18. Your answer or your variable cannot be negative at the end of the question. Again, your variable cannot be negative at the end of a question. It has to be positive. So once we write our answer, we box it up or we circle it. Next, step one, add or subtract the constant term. That's this, negative one, on the same side of the variable. That's right there, to both sides. That's step one. Step two, this becomes zero, so I just cross it out. Negative three plus one is negative two. Now step two, multiply the denominator or divide the coefficient on both sides. So there is either a denominator or a coefficient. This is a coefficient. It's a number right in front of the variable being multiplied by the variable. So we're going to divide the coefficient on both sides. That makes the twos cancel because two divided by two is one. And then we're just left with a B equals, and then negative one, box your answer. Next question, add or subtract the constant term on the same side as the variable to both sides. That's the negative eight right here. So because it's negative, we're going to add eight to both sides. That leaves us with this negative eight N on the left side by itself, 56 plus eight is 64. And then we have a negative eight in front of the N. That's our coefficient, okay? So we are supposed to divide the coefficient on both sides. What does that do for us? Well, it gets that N by itself on one side. So we can cancel these out because negative eight divided by negative eight is one one times n is just n, and then 64 divided by negative eight is a negative eight. And then we box our answer up. Something you can check off to the side here if you want is whether or not this negative eight actually works when you plug it into the equation. Let's try. So negative eight, and then we'd multiply by negative eight, that's our n that we just subbed in right there minus eight equals 56. Let's check to see if this is true. Negative eight times negative eight is 64, minus eight, is that true? Is 64 minus eight equal to 56? And yes, it is. So our equation or our answer checks. That's a good thing to do. Number four, now we have a division going on, variables being divided in this question. So 
we're going to follow the steps the same as they were up here. We're going to subtract the negative or subtract the six here because it's being added. That's the constant term. This is the constant term on the same side as the variable. Then the six goes away off of the left side. 14 minus six is eight. Then we are going to multiply the denominator. So the denominator is that number that the variable is being divided by, the two. So we're going to multiply both sides by two. So times two on the left, and then times two on the right. And what does that do for us on the left side? It gets that n by itself because the two will cancel with the two because two divided by two is one. N then equals eight times two, which is 16. Check it, 16 divided by two is eight plus six. Is that 14? Yes, it is. That is the answer. Let's do a different one. So number five, we'll identify our constant term. We add it because it's being subtracted. Do the opposite. That makes it go off of the left side, which is our goal. Then we can rewrite t divided by seven equals uh, 10, right? And then we have our seven here, which is dividing the t. So we're going to multiply by seven. We multiply by seven on both sides. Remember, whatever we do on one side of an equation, we must do on the other side. Divide by the seven t equals 70, 10 times seven. Does that check? Does that check? 70 divided by seven is 10 minus eight is two. That does check. Number six, number six, our last one for the day. So our constant term is one, it's positive one. So we're going to have to subtract one from the side that the variable's on and then also the other side because that's what we have to do to keep the equation balanced. We're left with a negative x over five on the left. Five minus one is four on the right. And then we have a negative in front of here. What we can do is first start by just multiplying by the five. There's a, there's a little trick I'll show you at the end here, but first multiply by the five to get the five off of the denominator, but do the same on the other side like we always do. Actually, let me make that in a different color so you can see the steps easily. So multiply by the five, multiply by the five. The fives cancel and you left with negative x equals 20. Now, like remember what I said before, we can't have a negative variable at the end. So we have to divide by negative one at the end because there is a one here. Negative one divided by negative one is one. But then we are left with x equals, because the negative ones cancel, 20 divided by negative one, which is negative 20. Now, does that check? Negative 20 divided by uh, five, you have two negatives there, which is really just coming out to four, and then plus one is indeed five, so that does check, and we're done.